It's Tegan with Upcycling Adventures, and today I have a fun project, um, and that is some fabric snowflakes that are waxed and therefore hold their shape. So, it's pretty fun because you can use them year after year, and who doesn't love, it's a similar process to cutting paper snowflakes, which who doesn't love, and yeah, so what you're gonna need, you're going to need some fabric. I used plain white muslin that was not upcycled, but you could certainly use upcycled fabric, like old sheet or something. Um, yeah, you're, just some sort of fabric. You're going to need paraffin wax, which you can find in the canning area of your grocery store. Um, it's white, it is not beeswax, very different product. You're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need sharp, fabric scissors. I got out my heavy duty um, metal, like fully metal fabric scissors for this project because um, you're going to be cutting through many layers of fabric. Um, so sharp fabric scissors. Um, and then also you're going to need something to grate down some of the wax. I use just a pen knife, you could use a potato peeler, you could use a regular knife, you could use a cheese grater. Um, paraffin wax isn't sticky like beeswax, so anything you use will be pretty easy to clean up. Um, and then you're gonna need a hot iron and a surface to iron on. I used a paper grocery sack. Um, so a, a hot iron, and it won't hurt your iron. It's not, look, once again, not like beeswax. It's not sticky um, stuff. So that is what you'll need. And now I will show you how to do it. All right, so to make a paper or a snowflake out of fabric it's pretty much the same process as out of paper with just a couple extra steps so here i have a an a a an a a a square of this is just white muslin um press it up uh yeah, you could totally do this out of other fabrics if you wanted to. I have plain white. I feel like white really communicates the idea of snowflake. Um, so, but you know, you do whatever you think you're going to like best. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. And then, wait. Sorry. You're going to fold it in half like this. You're going to fold it in half like this. And then... From here, you're going to fold it. Um, so you could like go in half and then go in half again, and that's going to give you an eight-sided snowflake. So I am going for a six-sided snowflake because apparently that's what snowflakes actually are. They're all six-sided. So who knew? I did not really know, and I've been doing it the other way my whole life. But um, because it is a little, you know, it's easier. But to do a six-sided, it's not that tricky. So, to make a six-sided snowflake, I'm going to take this corner. This is the center, approximately. I'm going to go just beyond that center point. And then I'm going to take this side and go and try to match it up with this corner. And I don't want there to be weird weirdness right along this edge underneath. I don't want there to be multiple layers. So essentially what I've been doing, I've actually just been picking it up and kind of lining it up whatever, however I can line it up so that I have three layers, a point here, and um, three layers on this whole triangle here, if that makes any sense. So that's what I recommend. I even just stick my hand in. I can feel there's no overlap here. Over here it's lined up pretty nicely. And so there I go. And then what I have been doing to make this a little easier for the next stage of cutting is I've been going ahead and pressing it with a very hot dry iron. So now at this point, we're going to cut and I'm getting out my real geo scissors for this um, because I wanna be able to cut all the way through six layers of fabric without any, mm, any badness, any weirdness, anything bad at all. So. Here we go. And you can cut any shape you want. I'm, you know, it's a snowflake, whatever is gonna work. So I have cut off that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. 
we'll see what happens. That's the one, that's something I like. I mean, you can get templates that will help you cut out a snowflake in the exact shape that you want to make it exactly what you want, and that's cool. What I really like is just doing all sorts of cuts and seeing what happens, and I think that's really fun. I just like to explore, if you will. I'm gonna do some kind of peaks here. And yeah, you want to cut through all your layers. Um, some of these points aren't going to be, ooh, wow, see, you'll get this sometimes. Let me, so it may be kind of tricky to see. Let me try again here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I didn't cut evenly through all the layers on that one. So, oh well, moving on, no big deal. This is a snowflake. Like, I don't need to freak out about this. Yeah. It happens. So, all right. Now I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this way, I think. Mm. Okay, so there I have that. Now I'm gonna unfold it and see what it looks like, which is always super exciting. Yay! Just lovely. It's a lovely, lovely snowflake, I think. I'm biased. I made it, but I really like it. So now I am going to press it very carefully. I don't want to necessarily snag things. I just want to take out those lines I already pressed into it to make it easier to cut. But your iron can catch on things and like kind of manipulate it and make it not as what you want at least. So there we go. All right, there we go. I have this lovely snowflake. Um, and now I'm going to move on to the super fun part, which is I'm going to get out the wax. This is a chunk of wax. It's paraffin wax. It's just not a big deal. This is just a big chunk of wax. It's not super expensive. You don't need very much for this project. It's actually a food safe item used in canning, so don't freak out. Do, however, do not use beeswax for this. Not unless you want like yellow snowflakes, which I mean, the only time I've seen yellow snow, it's not falling from the sky. So, um, and then you're going to need your hot iron as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this paraffin wax and I have an X-Acto knife here, a pen knife. You could also, you could use a potato peeler, you could use a vegetable peeler. Um, you could use your scissors. You could use, it will, I mean, you know, don't use your nicest scissors or anything. Um, yeah, you could uh, use a cheese grater, whatever you want. So I'm just going to get little chunks, little tiny little tidbits of wax onto this. And I'm not even necessarily thinking about how I'm placing them right now. I'm just getting it off the block. Also, always cut away from yourself. In any scenario, always cut away from yourself. Okay. So I have decent amount of wax here and I'm just gonna spread it out over this and you can see I do have um, a brown paper bag um, on the back of this and you can even have the lettering up but just watch out because sometimes if there are certain inks they will come through to your snowflake so maybe just turn your bag inside out um, I did have an issue with not the black ink off of a bag but the green there was green ink and that like just slightly dyed some of my snowflake. So I'm just spreading this out. Um, I'll probably, cause it's gonna, I'm gonna put as much of it on the white as I can, cause the uh, paper is also gonna absorb it. Um, but yeah, you mainly wanna, you don't wanna waste it into the paper. You wanna get as much of it into the thing as you can. So there we go. And now for the super fun part, which is melting the wax with your iron. And you're just gonna place your very hot, 
dry, no steam iron onto the snowflake and watch the magic happen. And really, yes, you can put this directly against the wax. The wax is, does nothing but shine up the surface. So I don't know if you can see that, it just melted. So um, you can see some spots are going to be more saturated and some are going to still be kind of white. Um, like right there, there, there. Um, and so now I'm going to get some more wax and really uh, make sure I get those areas that are still white or still unsaturated, more white. So once you have done that, you can see this is just more saturated um, and there's a lot of extra that went into the paper, which is totally fine, but that's why it looks darker. Um, and so now all you, you're going to do, well, it's, it's still going to be very flexible while it's warm and you could leave it here to dry, but I'm going to move on, right? And so you just take it and you put it somewhere flat to get cool and it will become firm. So. It will become firm like this, almost like vellum paper or something. So there you go. That is how it is done. Super simple, nothing to be afraid of. Um, and these snowflakes will last for a long time. If at any point they ever get really like, oh no, my kid took it down and they wanted it up, like they were going to throw it away. Oh no, what do I do? Ah, it looks horrible now. You totally can just press it again. There you go, no big deal. Once this cools, it will be as good as new. So there you have it. All right, I hope that that tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will try to answer those questions. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. I hope that you give it a go. It's super fun. Even just cut some paper ones. It's just so fun this time of year and it's nice because when Christmas is done, you can leave them up because it's still winter. Um, and that's always fun to not have to worry about taking them down. So anyway, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share, whatever, you know, show me love. Um, how my channel grow that'd be so kind of you if you enjoy my content and have a wonderful day night evening whatever <laughs>